All right, everybody, day four. I tell you that this is the best hydrogen production I've ever received in my life for 20 watts of power. Just look at how misty and variety it has become in terms of the size of bubbles, the volume around everything. This is the same resonance high voltage circuit that I've used with the two microwave transformers and I absolutely love it. The water level is quite high and you can already see that the bubbles are fighting over who gets to the top first. It's the best results I've ever had across my entire hobby of creating these type of devices, whether it's for survival or remote use or off-grid purposes with any type of water you can just get thermal energy and there is so much gas coming off of this now and it hasn't even been a week you can see that all the bubbles up here are playing agario with each other and they start grouping into different teams <laughs> there's a lot of different bubbles it's miraculous just how much you can get with only 17 watts of power or even 20 the circuit likes to jump between 17 and 20 watts and it is breaking faraday's max just with the visible eye. There are five cells in this tube along with another cell up in series right here that's in its own configuration and it's all hooked up on the same circuit so with 20 watts of power I can get an enormous amount of gas and it's going to be really exciting to either fill up some balloons and just go really far away and see how how much energy they release when they explode or possibly just run this into a flame to make some hot cocoa for the winter time with only like a 9 volt battery. My input is 12 volts and at resonance I get about 300 volts at peak. That's about my average voltage at peak with resonance and I can induce high voltage on the primary and the secondary of my microwave oven transformers with the spark gaps that occur in one and two automotive ignition coils with heat sinks that are applied. I just use toothpaste and honey for the thermal paste to put them on there. Just assemble from scrap homemade type components components and put them together and for a couple broken microwaves that nobody wants it's truly amazing what you can do and I'm excited to meter this gas later for the results of actually using it and making it usable I cannot wait to put a light bulb in series with the circuit and run that along with the tubular capacitors that are generating hydrogen in the dark so it is very friendly if you are ever stranded somewhere and you need to use water as a fuel source. It is just the absolute best result as far as anything Amazon could possibly sell to you, anything that you could ever possibly buy. This is what we need to be economically friendly and I'm looking forward to making a tutorial to build this generator. It really costs around 30 bucks if you get all of the components new, but if you find them on OfferUp or Craigslist locally, I'm sure you can get them cheaper and it's great for any kind of purpose as long as you know how to work with the gas that outputs thermal energy or even just like a gas like a gas burner propane or even for welding if you don't want to dilute it at all the amount of energy in this is incredible and this is four days with the output that has just taken off to infinity I am in absolute amazement with this circuit from scratch and it is very friendly and cheap simple and easy to replicate I just turned the light on so you can see this other cell here. The amount of gas over the last four days of running it from initially running it has kicked off about six times and I cannot wait to see what three days from now will do in terms of the Faraday maximum just ever so much being broken. I'm probably at at least 500% efficiency now but there's really no telling until I can meter the gas. You can really hear it crackling and popping like sizzling like an egg at the top. When I run it at night I can just hear all this misty poppling and crackling and it's almost like somebody's just frying an egg all night because of all the bubbles that are just steaming off of here and popping. It's also good to ventilate the room and I do do that. I've got a number of ventilation devices as you can hear right now. My room is diluting the gas a lot so it's safe to run almost anywhere as long as you've got no flames around or you can even channel the gas outside while your cell conditions and builds the metal oxide coating on the capacitive plates and the more oxide coating you get, you get way more hydrogen, and that is starting to be 
true ever so much more and I'm getting even more excited to do a tutorial on it. The amount of gas is amazing, as I've said probably 20 times by now, but do stay cordial with this type of thing. Please make sure that you are humbling yourself. Don't go telling big corporations or sharing this with high profile type people. Well, that's a bit off topic, but I hope you guys like these results after four days or even more. So do stay excited to keep watching and seeing the updates that I post on this. And I'll have a circuit diagram in the description, but it won't be incredibly detailed as for how to build it. A lot of the credit really just goes to Retali for his high voltage, uh, heavy duty HHO pulse charger circuit, which uses a resonance on AC and spark gaps between auto two automotive ignition coils and couples the voltage off of the primary and secondary of two microwave oven transformers and the voltage adjoins all into this rectified rat's nest here of incredibly high voltage going from a resonance and all the way down to a spark gap where you can fold the voltage 18 times over from what the resonance is actually inducing and that takes a little bit more power than it would off of a lower type of resonance circuit that I have. It's, it's more of a lightweight one but I do get the same very 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 close volume amount of gas with it and it's much simpler and easier much more remote than carrying a microwave transformer around with you in a backpack so that is awesome and it's the longer you let it run the more you get see you guys later